Hello everyone and welcome to Fears to Fathom Norway Hitchhike. <coughs> Alright. Um anyhow. Like I said, I was going to um play all the episodes of Fears to Fathom. After this will be Carson's house, but not just yet. I don't want to get to that one yet. After finishing this one. Anyhow, um Okay. Ah, oh, come on now. This happened to me when I was nineteen. Now I'm over twenty one. I can still remember clearly because of how creeped out I felt. I was a bit hesitant to write this out on the internet at first, but getting it out might help even just a little bit. I was one of those people who love gaming conventions and I go to every convention I get the chance to, and sometimes even meet some of my online friends. You know, I really need to go to a gaming convention anyhow. Through my parents, I. My parents were always thrilled of the idea of going to on an interstate drive. I mean, going on an interstate drive. Or the plane tickets would have been too expensive. This convention, I would. This convention I was at went great, and it was now the day I drove back home. But I, when I set off, I soon realized the traffic was horrible. I decided to take a long way to avoid the traffic. It was a little over a 12 hour drive. Uh uh, don't read no. Don't text and drive. Anyhow, um, I wanted to apologize for not uploading last weekend. I don't know, I just had one of those days just to really feel like uploading. That's not a pathway I can go. Realize Q realize I was on gas. Anyhow, as I was saying, I wanted to apologize for not uploading last weekend. This is one of those days I just didn't really feel like uploading. Just wanted to rest a bit. I've noticed I've been doing it a lot lately. And I'm trying to break that habit. It's not really a good habit. Okay, enough of that. to get this car filled up with gas and get out of here. Damn. I can't get a $10 punch. Too.
bridge. Norway Valley, the road. The road, I mean, not a lot of people head down there this time of year. Be careful. What do you mean? Um, for a century, for about, for about a century now, many people have been going missing down there. People who went looking for them never returned. Go say Norway Valley monster has torn them up and hugged, hugged them upside down on trees. One more thing if you see a woman in white or blue gown trying to get a ride. Do not stop. Step on the gas as hard as you can. Oh, oh, who is she? Some people say that she died in a car accident. They are on prom night. Some say that she sneaks vengeance after she was murdered there. Regardless, she's out for blood. Whatever you do, do not ever, never ever under any circumstances pick up a hitchhiker. Those people out there on the road and their homes out there they ain't what they what you think ma'am. They just ain't. Okay. Um I don't know if you find any in this room, we're out of dog food. Okay, back, okay. Even now, drive safe, right. you reach. Will you taking that flight? Oh, uh hi, -huh. make it back late. Gonna be late when you reach back. Hope you're feeling all right, all right, Dad. Okay. Okay. We even filmed. Oh my goodness, that's too. Uh. I pumped it. Oh yeah, that's all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like dog food. Anyhow, that'd be fine. Alright. Got my gas and dog food.
gonna even close the trunk. That's. You know that that's a, all right. That that's good enough. out of here. What are you doing? I don't know, I'm trying to... Hang on, I'm doing... Do you realize the eighth thing? Monsters do truly exist. Every single one of them just look like you and me. Yeah, ah. Uh, sorry. Mom, I cannot text you right now because I'm on the road. Hey, uh, you want to turn back on your light? Okay, good. Thank you. Headlights. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if I saw someone there. Okay, now it's now it's a little dark, but thank you for a turn. Well, you need to get your you definitely need to get your headlights checked out. But um, anyhow, I'm gonna lie, hitchhiking is scary because you know. Yeah, it's really unpredictable what people would just do to you. One second, you're just, um... In the car. Where are we? Wait, hang on. One second, you're in the car. And they possibly lock... And they lock in, then they... Well... Do something to bot... They do something tie you up, possibly kill you, or, I don't know, and sometimes you can, sometimes you can end up it, being tr sometimes uh, you can be a victim to human trafficking, I think that's the, Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay. Okay. I'm good. But yeah, you could be a victim to human trafficking, as I was saying. And that's the work. Oof. This is very weird. Think about that night. Oh, it was blocked ahead. 
No. But anyhow. I uh I apparently um could move these logs. Eh? I was not I was uh, I thought there was something else and I drove back. Eh? Don't ask why, I don't wanna get into it. Just know that I'm editing that I'm part out with me just No. What the he what what is going on? Just like that, I'm stranded in the middle of nowhere or no phone service. Wow, the car decided to break down a I'm not saying Remember that bull crap the gas tanks at Pork, but I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel on ease. I mean, I don't mean I, throughout my life I was told not to take rides from strangers. Yeah, you shouldn't. But in a moment where I had no choice. I was scared and I don't know how long it would take for someone to pass. At 10.23 p.m. You know, why didn't you just stay in the car? evil. I don't understand how somebody can leave another human being stranded like that. Well, uh... Well, you gotta kinda... I kinda need to look... You gotta look at it from both perspectives. One, you don't know... Some people don't really trust strangers at all. To them, you're a stranger. And they don't really want to pick you up. They don't really, and people don't really like to trust hitchhikers because, you know, they don't want to put themselves in danger because there are some people who, who pretend to, who do pretend to have a car that breaks down, but, you know, they do that, but, and that's a way to get someone to help you or to, you know. God dang it. I'm just trying to make sure I phrase this right. <laughs> but yeah. In a way, you're... Wait, seriously? This guy actually stopped. But yeah, nobody's really gonna trust you, nor are you gonna trust them. It's like blind trust. Just... You're a girl from the gas station. Uh. 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 I'm not trust that. What are you trying to do it? I think my car just broke down. I can't call out. Do you think I can get a ride? Where are you headed to? Uh -huh. Just in here. Hop in. Uh. Hurry up. Just throw it in the back. I won't be here for too long. Oh, she. He meant her stuff, but 
yeah basically you don't trust them they don't you don't trust that person and that person doesn't trust you it's basic and the reason you know And, as, and the reason you just don't trust these people because you don't know what they do to they're gonna do to you and one thing we all fear is um, losing our lives prematurely of course to something um, to someone who wants to take it for who knows what reason I don't know why I just went that deep into all that, but um, I think those are mostly the reason why people just fear hitchhike. I think those are reasons why hitchhiking is really feared. You, go. you need to hurry up. I don't have all day. I'm done. I know, I know. Oh, I still don't trust this guy. I don't know. I don't know what his intentions are. So you won't tell me who you are, where you're going. I was driving home, and that pizza car got me. What? Jason. Oh, my name is Jason. Um, it's nice to meet you, Jason. What? Jace. What? Jason Horhees. I don't know why I'm just. You're really lucky to be on this side of town tonight. Mrs. Say, you're one brave one young woman, uh, how was that? Hey, cool, what happened to your car back there? Uh, I'm not, I don't know. It never broke down on me like that. It's my dad's, it's pretty old. So, what do you think about what he told you back at the gas station? Yeah, it really creeped me out. Interesting. Idiot tells that to every person traveling down there. Down here. Is that true? The monster? Let's see. I've never seen a monster for myself, but if there are, there are some things. And I'm afraid your car breaking down could have been one of them. Listen, I don't want to sound like I'm a moron, but remember this. Don't bother them, and you don't be bothered. Okay. I'm sorry for being a jerk before, but I'm not the best with people. There am I. I felt a bit. After a bit of small talk, he dropped me off to my mother. 
at a motel. Apparently, they offer roadside assistance. Besides, I... Besides, I thought... I could use a little rest. Be careful, there are all kinds of people. Oh, he drove off, okay. Oh, I was about to say, I'll be mad if we just forgot our stuff, huh? That was pretty creepy vibes imaginable. Yeah, near room to to shack up for tonight or the night. I went just for a room. Forty for single. Cash pay cash only. Okay. Room number nine. Right over there. I need all. I need Tommy will take care of it next thing in the morning. Good, I'll let Tommy know. And uh, one last thing. Try not to wake the other guests. They might not take it very nicely. Except the musky smells you get from the old house. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good and all, but... Pick up... How about you grab your stuff? Okay, why won't it allow me to grab... Pick up this stuff? Alright, oh no. Let's just get back into the hotel. Let's just get back into a room. Man, I'm feeling tired myself. Is there not a mattress? Oh, that. What are you doing here? Uh, crap. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, I'm Tommy. Room service. I... Here at my... Roadway. In the uh, finest stopover in Norway. What are you doing here? A guy in the front desk gave me this room. 
I'm just gonna have to ask you to step outside while I make the room. I'll just get my stuff. Okay. Have anybody really stayed out of... Okay, has anybody ever really stayed out of motel? I mean, I usually end, end up staying in... I never really experienced uh, being in a motel. How was it like? Ah, uh, anyhow. Let me just focus on the main point. You know you can put the hat on your head and carry the suitcase, right? Like, you know, free your hands. Common sense. Oh good, you put the mattress on. Finally sleep, well, I'm gonna lock the, I'm gonna lock the door. Y you know, matter of fact, I, I might as well barricade it. I don't know how trustworthy this motel is, so it's best to barricade it. Man, I really wish we could run faster. I upload this on Sunday. Just. I fling the. Alright, got my stuff. I had a worry with Joe about the situation. What's wrong with these people? These people, mercy, mercy. But don't worry, it's safe. Huh? Here. Okay, I'm gonna get your car. And also, the room phone is not working, so if you need anything, just ask at the front desk. We're trying to get it fixed, but we haven't had been seeing enough guests lately. But you have a good night. Okay. I really wish we could lock these doors. Okay, hide and spot. Good. Oh, heck no. Get up. Up. It's called Foresight, but there was something very off about that place. I can't help but take the feeling something wasn't right. Yeah, something wasn't... Yeah, something wasn't right. There was a guy staring at you at the window. You didn't see that? A hot cup of coffee. I didn't want to sleep anymore. Only Tarpy can help me stay.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually I'm against uh, yeah, drinking coffee, but you know what? So this circumstance, uh. Where can I even get coffee from? Ugh. Yeah, none of these are Yeah, none of these are it. Ah, oh, no, the coffee was drugged. And my controls are inverted. Oh, I'm almost at the hotel room. Close the door. Oh, I cannot rip. Oh, they, oh, some, oh, yeah, they done something to coffee. Oof. Oof. It's not. Ah, it's too late. All right, so, and I was going to do the. I recommend doing the regurgitation tr tactic. Eh? You know, throw it up eh? before it re really kicks in. <gasps> Ooh, the pills. But what do you need? You need to find. You need to do something. You. This coffee ain't doing. This coffee done something to you. It ain't doing. Great. We went all the, through all that trouble just to go back to bed. Eh? Yeah, maybe the be maybe never drink out of a coffee machine. I have a seat it. Sedate it.
All right, I'm back where I last left off. You don't feel s Did I specifically tell you do not wake up anyone? I have complaints that you're making all those noise. Whatever it is, just keep it down, miss. Is that... Why are your eyes all red? Are you messing with me? We don't... Okay, okay. Here, I have enough of you crazy goons here for once. I thought we were sober. I thought we had sober guests, but I get. I guess I'm the crazy one here. I hate myself. You want to. Oh. Do me a favor. Okay, seriously, what did you drink? Oh my goodness, the white guy took The guy covered him. Oh yeah, it's gone. Oh uh, yeah, it's gone. You drank something that drugged you. coffee machine go back to the room I said go back now you're really Red Hue is still there. why a motel's offering you to take pills not the best idea Hmm. 
I'm at the wall. I know somebody in the comments is going to say, you're supposed to get water from your room right now. I'm scared. I don't want to be in my room because I don't want to be anywhere near that closet. I already know what happened. I think we are. I don't think I need to put a reminder of what happened. Golly. Okay. The Okay, the white. What the f Who is it? Please open the door. I need help. <laughs> so this is the guy. Oh my goodness. 